this through the unified command. Now, we know that MEMA has overseen much of the capital city's latest water crisis. And now with the request of their federal partners, they're hoping to get immediate help with staffing at the water treatment facilities. The Unified Command seeking a 12-month emergency contract to help with staffing over Jackson's water systems. The contract would oversee operations, management, and maintenance of both the OB Curtis and JH Fuel water treatment facilities, well facilities, and tanks. This comes just nearly a month after Governor Tate Reeves announced the boil water notice lifted for the city of Jackson. And still... No, you good. I didn't want to walk out. Residents say they're cautious with the city's water quality. I take a bath in it, that's it. But so far as internal use, no. Don't want no part of it. Both city and state leaders have talked about staffing issues at Jackson's water treatment facilities before. Teams from Georgia and Florida's rural water associations called in for on-site assistance to help with the city's restoration. And aside from more staffing being addressed, so is funding. EPA Administrator Michael Regan announcing millions of federal dollars are being allocated to help with Jackson's water systems. No community in the United States of America should be having the same experience that Jackson is having, a lack of access to clean water. In a statement, MEMA Executive Director Stephen McCraney says, staffing has been a critical issue at these facilities, and we are ready to move to the next phase of stabilizing Jackson's water services. Our top priority is life safety, an effort that both city, state, and federal partners are ready to work towards. There's $30 million right now available for Jackson to access to begin to address this problem. The state of Mississippi will get $400 million over the next five years from the bipartisan infrastructure law to focus on water infrastructure. And according to MEMA, the current contract with the Emergency Management Assistant Compact or EMAC ends October 20th. Live in studio, Kara Peters, 16 WAPT News.